To service the valves on the 2SF series pumps, two kits are required. One discharge valve kit and one inlet valve kit. To service these valve assemblies, use a 6mm Allen wrench to remove the 6 hex socket head screws. To remove the manifolds, place a flat tip screwdriver between the inlet manifold and the crankcase and pry away from the crankcase to create separation. Completely remove the manifolds by hand. Next, separate the discharge manifold from the inlet manifold. This can be done by hand. Please note that the discharge valve adapters may stay either in the discharge manifold or the inlet manifold. The discharge valve adapters can be removed by hand from the inlet manifold or discharge manifold. Use a pick to remove the valve seats. Inspect the tapered surfaces of the valve seats for wear, pitting, or damage. Then use the pick to remove the valves. Inspect the tapered surfaces of the valves for wear, pitting, or damage. Next, remove the spring, checking for proper tension, followed by the retainer, and inspect for damage. Should the valve adapters be difficult to remove by hand, use a reverse pliers reaching into the adapter and use a twisting motion while pulling away from the manifold. Inspect the valve adapter o-rings for nicks or cuts. Use a pick to remove and replace with new o-rings provided in the valve kit. Before reassembling the discharge valves, inspect the manifold sealing surfaces for damage. Begin by inserting the spring retainer with the tab facing down, followed by the spring, and the valve with the concave side down. Place the valve seat onto the valve with the concave side down. Before installing the valve adapters, install the new o-rings on each end of the adapter as supplied in the valve kit. Lubricate the o-rings and press into manifold. Insert the inlet manifold assembly into the discharge manifold and press into place. Exercise caution not to cut or pinch the o-rings during assembly. To service the inlet valve assemblies, begin by using a pliers or side cutters to remove the cotter pin. Discard the cotter pins as new ones are supplied in the valve kit. Next, use a 10mm hex wrench to remove the slotted hex nuts. Remove the conical washers. Note the direction of the curve for reference when reinstalling. Remove the inlet valve springs and check for proper tension, followed by the spacer and inlet valve. Inspect the flat surface facing the ceramic plunger and the corners facing the ceramic plungers for scoring, excessive wear, or damage. Last, Remove the ceramic plunger and inspect the end surface where the inlet valve rests for excessive wear or damage. Reinstall or replace the ceramic plungers as needed. To install the inlet valve assemblies, start by installing the inlet valve with the flat side facing the ceramic plunger. The rounded edge faces out toward the discharge manifold. Next, install the inlet spacer with the smaller diameter into the inlet valve. After installing the spacer, ensure it can move freely up and down within the inlet valve. Install the inlet valve spring over the plunger rod, followed by the conical washer, 
with the concave side towards the inlet manifold. Hand thread the slotted hex nut onto the plunger rod. Using a 10mm hex wrench, tighten hex nuts and torque to specification. Ensure the hole in the plunger rod lines up with the hole in the slotted hex nut for the cotter pin. Insert the new cotter pin through the hole and bend both cotter pin ends over. Reinstall the complete head over the plunger rod ends and press against the crankcase. Use a rubber hammer to seat flush against the crankcase. Last, install the six socket head screws. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, tighten and torque specification.